In this video, we're going to review private offer disbursements. First, let's review what happens after a private offer is accepted. After a private offer is accepted and the buyer purchases the offer, there are three key steps left in the process. Invoicing, disbursement, and reporting. In this session, we'll go over disbursements. There are a few key points to cover when discussing disbursement cycles. First, disbursements are only initiated after funds have been successfully collected from subscribers. Next, disbursements occur monthly or daily, depending on the disbursement preference set by the partner in the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, commonly referred to as AMP. If an ISV or CP selects the monthly option, they can select the day of the month they want to receive their disbursements. If a seller has selected the monthly disbursement preference and selected the 15th as the day of the month for monthly disbursements, then all invoice payments collected prior to the 15th will be received by the partner in that month's cycle. If the partner has selected daily disbursement as the disbursement preference, the disbursement will happen daily if there is any outstanding payment to be disbursed to the partner. Finally, disbursements are deposited to the U.S. bank account on file for the seller minus the listing fee. If a seller does not have a U.S. bank account, HyperWallet is a third party that works with Amazon to make local currency disbursements in other countries. Given the previous information, let's review an example where a seller has selected the monthly disbursement preference. In this example, the seller has selected the seventh day of the month for monthly disbursements, and the buyer is subscribed to the seller private offer for an immediate subscription on November 30th, with the due date on net 30 terms as December 30th. If AWS receives the payment on January 6th, the payment would disperse to the partner on January 7th. If AWS receives the payment after January 7th, AWS will disperse to the partner on the next cycle, February 7th. Now, let's review an example where the seller has selected the daily disbursement preference. If a buyer is subscribed to a seller private offer for an immediate subscription on November 30th, the due date on net 30 terms would be December 30th. If AWS receives the payment on December 14th, the payment would disperse to the partner on December 15th. If AWS receives the payment on December 20th, after the December 15th window, AWS will disperse to the partner on the next cycle, falling on December 21st. To identify undisbursed invoices, AWS Marketplace provides partners with two insights dashboards, inclusive of charts, graphs, and insights on build revenue and collections and disbursement. The dashboards provide daily refreshed data on key financial points, such as buyer AWS payment terms and subscriber AWS account ID. Let's take a closer look. You can utilize the Insights dashboard by logging in to your AWS Marketplace Management Portal, then navigating to the Insights tab and selecting Finance Operations. From there, you'll go to your AWS Marketplace Collections and Disbursements dashboard. You can then toggle the Control Panel, and you can use the Disbursement status to filter invoices that have either dispersed or not dispersed. Scroll down to narrow your search range with payment due date and customize the date range in the time frame you're looking for. You'll also find visual metrics on disbursement metrics and trends. Now, scroll to the bottom to view the granular data. To the right, you will see the following symbols. Use the three stacked dots and you'll have the ability to also export as a CSV you will now have the ability to see all non-dispersed and overdue payments. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to mpufinquiries at amazon.com.